So that's pretty much what I'm going to work on. So I think what we'll do is I'll probably just cut the camera. Okay. <laughs> I'll take uh, not only the game killing a feral nurse, Nancy, but also giving me a yellow loot bag in the process. That's okay with me. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on generally the hardest settings. This is Alpha 19 Experimental. Uh, build 157. Okay, so um, I made it back to the base. Um, did a couple things along the way. Uh, mined up some coal because we ran into a coal deposit. Had to make a drop chest and drop some things off because I had, was way too heavy. We went back to the base and did some inventory management, and now we're going to do our, our quest turn in and then take the next job from the trader. Before we go actually do that job, though, um, I think I have enough material to, to f kit out the rest of my uh, scrap armor because we still need the chest piece, uh, and I'd like to replace these with the legs. Now, I know the, the padded armor is going to be quieter, but I think we're transitioning from you know trying to sneak around to starting to take these guys on, so I want to have that extra protection. And then uh, we'll see where we're at after that in terms of uh, our resources, because I want to start making some pockets. Now I can You're make looking kind of rough. <laughs> I can make you the didn't get bit, did you? The triple storage mod. Excuse me, Jen. I'm trying to talk to the people here. Um, I can make the triple storage mod, but I need a workbench for that. So we really need to get that workbench, and, and we are working towards it. Uh, but we need um, intellect four and or intellect three and some nerdy glasses if we can luck out and find some. And then we have to put another point into advanced engineering before we can make it. So that's kind of where we're at. Let's see what uh, Trainer Jin is going to give Here's us. Here's your pay for a job well done. A desert vulture schematic? Huh. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll take that. We actually already have a skull cap mod anyway. I The reason I'm going, huh, is because that seems like that's more of a mid to, to end game item and i'm just kind of surprised i'm getting it with a tier one quest but i'm not complaining about it just surprised okay that doesn't mean we can make it though <laughs> we still need a workbench and probably some other high level stuff we'll take a look at it in a second here um your inventory doesn't reset till day seven. Oh, you know what dog i had a couple things i wanted to sell to her i'll just run back and get those later nothing super major so i'll probably just do that off camera it was like that sports jacket and a couple of of a schematic or a magazine books that we'd already read and maybe something else i don't know anyway all right oh, let's see so soon let's oh, see I was hoping we could hang out a while <laughs> let's see uh what her jobs are okay so we have a fetch three buried supplies and a clear and the fetch and the clear are really far away dog on it um all right well I mean, we could probably do the buried supplies now, but I'm going to have to expend ammo, and I don't want to expend ammo. We don't have enough ammo yet to be expending it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this. I think I've got a job or two. Oh, thank goodness. I couldn't find anyone to do that job. Yeah, I wonder why. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go here, and we're going to say, Jen, you know, we thought about this, and we figured, well, we probably should do it because it's a little, little too dangerous. Okay, so we remove that from the list. Now, does that give her a new one to replace it? I can't remember if it does. It doesn't. Okay. So, yeah, we're either going to have to take a really long one, which I guess we could. Both of them are to the northeast, and both of them are exactly the same far uh, distance away. If we take the clear, we don't, we save one inventory slot item on the way back. And I don't know if the you know if the points and the money's the same I, I think the clear might actually be a little bit better so let's just take this for now I just the job for someone with your talent it's the diner okay thanks son. and uh, we'll I see I might down. depending upon how things go I might also cancel that one and just wait till her jobs reset but we'll see how, how things go okay let's look in here <clears throat> we'll take the large how much money do I have yeah we'll take the large beef ration um that's really any, all I want to take. Uh, I'm not ignoring the candy guys. I, sh I just don't feel like I'm in a position yet to where, you know, to where we have enough money to be buying that. But we will. I certainly is in my plans to do so. Okay, so in order for me to make the three pieces of scrap armor, I need 150 scrap iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, harvest this. 
uh, until I get 150 pieces. And I've got my iron mine over there too. In fact, what we ought to do once we, you know, really start digging this sucker out is we ought to dig to the northwest so we also hit this pocket but anyway i'm gonna harvest this until i get 150 iron then i'm gonna get those that scrap iron going run back and sell those other things to her which i need to do fairly soon because it's getting late and then i'll bring you back at that point and then we'll decide what the next uh thing to do is okay so I'll be back in a bit All right, guys, uh, we had a wandering horde uh, come through while I was doing uh, all that stuff. So I just want to make sure they're not lingering around here. Kind of usually what happens is they they run by, but then they stop and hang out in the area. But I'm not actually seeing any of them. Uh, not in this immediate area anyway. So maybe they ran ran a little bit further on, but we need to be careful. So we've got our heavy armor, and of course now we're, we're running a little bit slower as a result, but that's just the way it goes. But that's going to give us, you know, more protection too, of course. So we can take a couple of hits down without dying. Yeah, it sounds like they might have been over on that side. But we don't have to worry about them right this second. Okay, so um, what I have to sell to Trader Jin is um, all of this stuff here. I, if you remember, we looted two bicycle chassis uh, in the last episode, so we can sell that one. So let's get uh, those sold. We'll sell the sports jacket. That sells for 150. That sells for 22. I, sh I should have actually repaired those, huh? I just huh? knew you'd find something you'd like. Um, uh, you know what? Forget it. It's not going to make that much difference with this uh, inventory. Let's buy the rest of your glue. And she has duct tape, too. Uh, we're going to need that for... Does she sell sewing kits? Can you even buy sewing kits from the trader? I, I don't remember if you can. I've never, ever sold them um, because of the fact that, you know, they're too useful. And they're even more useful now because they're also a medical device now. Um, okay, what are we going to do about these Zeeks? You generally can't get out of this base any other way without risking breaking your leg. Are they in front here? Or are they all around the side? Oh shit. Hmm. All right, we might be in a bit of a pickle. You know what though? If she's the only one Wow, we, okay, we might have to uh, risk a broken leg here. I guess we've got the stuff to... Uh, didn't I loot that stuff? No. Oh. We've got the stuff to make a splint if we have to. Kind of a... not a good situation. Yeah, that's the downside to this particular base is it's kind of hard, <clears throat> hard to get out of it uh, other than the front door, you know? So let's go down here. The good news is most of them are over on that side, so... Let's see if we can kill her with our bow. I, I want to continue to conserve our bullets, because we don't have an abundance of bullets. Okay, I think we managed to get out of that little pickle there. Let's go see um, if we can make one or two uh, tr uh, uh, pocket mods. I keep wanting to say the triple storage, but we can't make those right now. 
Okay, so for the, for the pocket mod, it takes one sewing kit. Oh, wow, okay, we can make more of these than I thought we could. So we only need to make, I think, is it three? One for here, one for here, and one for here. Yeah, so we only need to actually make three. That's good, because then we can keep some of our sewing kits. I think what I'm going to do when we're going out and about, at least here in the early game, is I'm going to leave my, my iron tools here and just take the axe. Uh, that does a couple of things for us. It gives us an all-in-one tool, and therefore we save, you know, four inventory slots or three inventory slots, um, and it doesn't use as much stamina. So, yeah, it's going to take me a little bit longer to break blocks and doors and that sort of thing, but I think, you know, while our inventory space is still really tight, it kind of makes sense to do that. So we'll just leave all of those tools at the base, and we'll use them while we're here, you know, to mine and do all the stuff that we need to, to do. How close are we... To, yeah, we're we got a ways to go before we hit the next level. Oh wait, we did get a point. Okay, cool, cool. I wondered about that actually. So we're gonna put that right on into uh, intellect. And if we don't find nerdy glasses before the next point, we're just gonna go ahead and put it right into thick-headed because we need uh, intellect four in order to take the next level in advanced engineering and grease monkey. Advanced engineering, of course, we need for the tool bench, and grease monkey two we need for the mini bike. Well, all right, so our options are cut the camera and stay around the base until morning and just do some mining or something like that, cut some wood, maybe clear out some more of that broken stone down below uh, to get ready for Horde Night, because my, my general plan for now is to do Horde Night um, in this base. Now, uh, obviously, I wouldn't do Horde Night, you know, 70 <laughs> in this base, but Horde Night 7, sure. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But I do have some work to do to get all that stuff ready to go. So so there's that to do. Um, the other option is we just set out on foot and very carefully work our way uh, to that really long-ass quest. Let's take a look and see exactly where that sucker is. It's, it was to the north east, I think, wasn't it? Oh, Lord almighty, that's a long ways away to go on foot. Oh, man, I don't know, you guys. I mean, yeah, we'd open up some more territory, but... You know, soon we're going to have a vehicle, and then, you know, then we can just ride or drive to places, like, that are that far away. Huh, okay. What to do, what to do? I'm not really sure. Okay, guys, I gave it some thought, and here's a, here's what I think we're going to do. I wanted to do, you know, one more POI before we have to, you know, kind of dig in and start doing a bunch of building and construction and stuff, you know, for Horde Night. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera and I'm just going to work my way to the quest. It is a long ass ways away, but I'm just going to do it uh, because along the way we can hunt and we definitely need meat. So hopefully we'll, you know, come across a couple deer or whatever uh, along the way uh, for that. And then I'll bring the, bring you back once we get to the POI and then we will do that. Okay, so I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, I'm back and I have some good news and I have some bad news. Um, the bad news is if you look in the lower left hand corner, I got tagged by a feral nurse. Uh, she gave me an abrasion and an infection. Um, so, and I wasn't uh, too terribly far out from the base when all of that happened. Uh, I made it basically to here. And uh, so we had to come back because I didn't want to take the risk of, of hoping we could find a stump with honey in it uh, along the way. Um, and I do have a couple honeys in here. So we're going to eat that to take care of our infection. Now, the good news is I killed two deer. I killed a buck and a doe. Uh, through all that so we got 50 pieces of meat which is five more bacon and eggs for us uh, which we're going to cook up now so let's do that and we got you know some extra bones uh, which we might as well just turn right on into glue and some some fat and some hide and all that sort of thing so uh, it was it was not a total loss. It was just kind of bad. Good, good and bad. We got a little bit of good, a little bit bad. That's what happened. <laughs> All right. So the question now, I guess, is do I still want to attempt to go all the way out there? I mean, it's already, you know, three o'clock in the morning. And I think the answer to that is probably not because I wanted to I wanted to get started on horde base preparations on day six. So we're not scrambling at the last minute. So I think what we'll do is we will uh, 
we'll get start getting ready for horde night now and if we you know if we get ready and we have plenty of time left over you know then we'll go attempt to do that quest so i believe that's the plan um so let's put all of our canned food back in here for now uh because i kind of like to hang on to the canned food for when we're traveling actually you know what though that doesn't matter anymore the reason i did that in alpha 9, 18 is because you know we, we had the chance of getting the food poisoning but that is no longer the case, um, and we actually need to eat one of these now anyway. So, I mean, yeah, maybe we'll just take bacon and eggs with us. Now that uh, we don't have to worry about that so much anymore. Let's pop the glue in here. Uh, look at that food. Beautiful. Oh, wait, that's giving us... How are we getting ten bacon and eggs? Did they reduce the requirement for that? Oh, no, we... Uh, yeah, I'm not thinking straight. We had 50. Yeah, okay. Pay no attention to me. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're... we're we, we are set on food for quite some time. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So what I... The thing I think I'll do, too, is let's get all this chrysanthemum. And we're going to need to make some clean water. Because uh, if we keep drinking the red teas and it gives us this efficient digestion, that's going to help, uh, you know, keep our stamina up while we're, you know, doing all the, the work that we're going to have to do to get, you know, get ready for Horde Night. So let's see. I want to make, I want to keep some of these, you know, for, um, for glue. So let's put those back in there for glue and then we'll make 30 water. So we need five, about six-ish minutes of burn time for all of that. That should work. Oh, look at that. A full stack of bacon and eggs. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Love it. I guess we have to wait for that water to finish before we can do the chrysanthemum, so we'll put that up there. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm not, not really sure what more to do on camera for you but let me let me at least explain what i have in mind and so what we're going to do is we're going to go here and i'm going to fix up this area down here um and put iron bar or not iron bars well actually yeah we could probably upgrade them to iron but we're going to put bars in these openings here and I'm going to, you know, fix the the damaged part of the concrete, dig some more of that uh, ruined stone out, and then just make a bunch of arrows. We can make iron arrows, and then just fight the horde, you know, with our bow. Because I, I don't want to use guns, because we just don't have enough ammo, you know, to make that work well. So that's pretty much what I'm going to work on. So I think what we'll do is I'll probably just cut the camera... Okay. <laughs> I'll take uh, not only the game killing a feral nurse, Nancy, but also giving me a yellow loot bag in the process. That's okay with me. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'll cut the camera here, and I'm just going to work for a while, and I'll bring you back at some point with an update on how things are going, um, and then we'll go from there, okay? All right, guys, welcome back. Um, all right, you can, as you can see, it's uh, almost 11 o'clock in the morning on day seven. So I spent uh, all the rest of yesterday, uh, all through the night, uh, working on getting ready for the Horde base, doing some mining. We did a lot of stuff. We planted some trees out there, as you can see. We cleared away the rest of the rubble here. Um, I'm, I built basically like a little killing chamber uh, in this room here and some bars up above uh, with a little uh, backdrop that we can drop our pipe bombs down onto the zombies. And I'm also going to try... Um, I'm going to try something a little bit different, too, uh, in addition to, you know, the killing chamber, just because I'm not certain how uh, the Zs are going to behave. And so we're going to try a little something uh, that I saw from a YouTuber named Reach Gaming, um, a, a variation on an idea that I got, you know, from watching uh, some of his videos. He did a he did a, a couple of days ago, he did a video on, you know, horde bases that worked in Alpha 18 do they still work in Alpha 19? You know, that was the idea behind it. And I watched that, and um, yeah, so I got this idea for him. So we're going to try it. A couple things we want to do here. Um, 
Let's go in here. I opened up this room, and inside of this bookcase, I found these two magazines. So I wanted to read those for you on camera so you could see them. Uh, basically, we're more accurate here when rapid-firing 9mm weapons, and this one take 50% less damage from collapsing mines. So that's a nice one to have. Okay, so we got that out of the way. And yeah, basically the chamber's made out of cobblestone except for these, those upper blocks. Uh, I don't. I, we're not going to get cops on uh, Horde Night 7. I mean, we're only game stage 15 anyway, so um, I'm not expecting that. Probably the most dangerous zombie we could potentially get is a spider zombie. And uh, so I've made a little overhang, you know, over the area that we're going to be in on this side and over on to this side, and hopefully that will be adequate. I mean, if worse comes to worse, we do have our AK and, and two magazines uh, full of ammo that we could deal use to deal with them if they actually got up there. So that's pretty much where we're at uh, in terms of the build. Like I mentioned, I, I planted a bunch of trees out there. This area over here is where I have been digging clay. Uh, so we've done like three rows so far, you know, that I've needed for the cobblestone. And one of the things that I want to do is I want to go over to the trader and see if the trader actually has any concrete. So let's run over there really quick. And, and besides their inventory updated today anyway, and let's go see what they have and see if they have any concrete. Meds, drugs, booze. I've got it all. <laughs> okay, let's see your inventory. All right, do you have any concrete mix? You don't. Talk on it. Okay, well, what about in here? Concrete. No. All right, well, let's look at her her, her good stash. She's got an M60. That's cool. It's pretty expensive, though, for, uh, for our purposes. Chowder Crafter Chassis, Sham Chowder Recipe, Art of Mining Volume 4, and some Shotgun Shell Ammo. All right, not really anything in here that we can afford to spend money. We only have 969 coin anyway. Let's look at the main inventory. So she's got some feathers. The reason why um, that's interesting, interesting, interesting to me is I only have 59 feathers left. My plan is once we get the horde base completely ready to go, hopefully we have a little bit of time left to go do some hunting and looking for more feathers because I have 148 more arrowheads but I don't have enough feathers to make the arrows blue AK that's pretty nice bunker buster mod robotics parts that's going to be interesting getting into that at some point all right she doesn't really have anything you know that we need other than potentially uh, feathers this is our second airdrop i've never gone after the first one see how it's got like a little um, uh, strobe on it now that's really cool so let's guesstimate where that thing's going to land it's not super far away i'm saying probably somewhere around here and like I said, I've got another one uh, here too that we've that I've marked roughly marked, and uh, we're not going to really go after those until we have a vehicle. Though speaking of which, we now have uh, we got another point uh, from all the mining and stuff that we did, um, and I um, actually I've I've had two points since the last time I was on camera with you guys. So I put this the next point into thick headed because we never found nerdy glasses. Let's look at her inventory for that specifically. If she had them, they would be here. Nope, she doesn't. Uh, or potentially here, I think. Yeah, Too she doesn't. Bad okay. I couldn't help you. So anyway, yeah, yeah we, we've got time. another point here. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to put that point intellect into advanced engineering tinkerer. And now we can make our own cement mixer and our own workbench, which means we could potentially make our own concrete now i mean we can make our own concrete now it's just a matter of do we have the resources when we hit the next point uh we're gonna put that uh into mechanic uh what's what's it called again grease monkey uh grease monkey 2 and we're gonna go right to the mini bike we're not even gonna mess with the bicycle i don't i don't think we will 
um, there's just not no point in doing it because by the time you know I'm ready to even make the bicycle I'll probably have more XP from the the continuing work that we have to do and I don't want to make, make the bicycle use it once and then turn around and have to make the mini bike so we're just gonna hold out until we get the mini bike all right so let's see what I want to do now is look at our trees growing that's cool <laughs> man it's like you can't see anything now not not that that matters a whole lot i guess anyway all right so here's the idea behind uh, our our little special base thing that we're going to do and again this idea i don't take credit for this idea i saw it for the first time by watching a video from reach gaming just so so you know we're clear on that so i won't take credit for somebody else's idea um so let's see what do we want to do um i've got 13 flagstone blocks now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these two blocks as wood frames. And the reason for that is because if this appears like it's not going to work out, um, I'm just going to pull those up. Um, so that way we're not, we're not, you know, stuck in a situation where we can't uh, go to plan B, which it would be just to use the chamber. But it all depends upon how the zombies are going to behave, though, too. Uh, so let's see. We're going to put... A flagstone we're gonna do like a little ramp idea and I've got uh, three iron hatches in my inventory so some of you might know what I'm gonna try and do here so I'm gonna put an iron hatch there and then leave a block in between an iron hatch there and then leave a block in between and an iron hatch there and then probably have like a little landing Let's make sure that I did that correctly. Okay, so let's grab this. Now, um I don't I don't remember where the opening is on this. Shit. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Let's make a wood hatch. Uh, wooden hatch. Yeah, it's all, it's always confusing to me where the actual opening is on those. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to turn it so that... I believe it's this way? I think. Or is it the other way? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll do, we'll do it this way. Okay, so we set that down there. Now, let's upgrade this and pay attention to the direction the iron one is so we know where, how to set the other ones. All right, so it looks like the opening is on the side that has the smaller iron patch there like in this corner here uh, or you another way of looking at it is the back is you know has these three rust big rust spots okay so we wanted to skip a block and we want to turn it that way is that right I think so Yep, there we go. Okay, and then skip a block and put one there. There we go. Okay, so the idea here is that the zombies will come up the ramp, you know, and these will be open like this, and they'll kind of get hung up on this this hatch here. And, and they don't... From what I saw in, in, in Reach's video, they don't immediately try and break the hatch. They they kind of get just hung up and they, they derp out here. In the meanwhile, you know, you're shooting him in the head. Um, you know, for, of course, you know, his demonstration did this with, um, you know, with with an end game horde. So they were a lot nastier. We're just going to have a day seven. So I don't know. Again, I don't know if this is going to work. This might not completely might not work at all. But we'll give it a try, and like I said, if it if it turns out that they they break this and then they break that one, by the time they get to the third one, we will know that this is not working, and I will pull up those two blocks. Okay, so that's the plan uh, for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, finish out the ramp. I'll have it go all the way down to the ground there, and then you know get this all upgraded to cobblestone, 
And I think that's really about all the all we need to do for the rest of Horde Knight. I do want to put, uh, you know, for the Horde Knight base, I mean, I do want to put a... Let's put actually two torches on each side, not in the middle, because that could be a place where we could, uh, you know, potentially have some hits going on. Another, another thing we could do, though, is, you know, because I have these quarter blocks here, we could potentially double up on those and and just let them come here so that we can melee them. It's just that if they break through those quarter blocks, we're we're gone. <laughs> it's over. So, hmm, I'll think about that. I'll think about that. If I can get to the point where I have enough concrete and enough time for the concrete to cure, which we, we might not. I mean, it's already almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I might do that, but I think I'm going to just stick with this idea right now where we'll just have these frames that will pull up. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I, I don't know that there's there's not really a whole lot more um, we can do other than me just finishing this ramp and getting everything else upgraded to cobblestone because uh, it, there's no way we have time to go do that quest now. And hopefully by the end of Horde Night, we will have at least one more level. Then we can make the mini bike, and then from there on out, you know, then going far away to do quests is not going to be a problem at all. So, uh... Yeah, I think that's it, guys. I don't think there's really anything else much that I can update you on at this point. So we'll wrap up the video here. And uh, in the next video, it'll be the start of Horde Night. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to go do some hunting, get, uh, get some more feathers. And then uh, in the next video, we will start Horde Night 7. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.